introduction of the SIS dash labs detach Y6 um, you can look it up on SIS dash labs dot com or SIS hobbies um, the quad is a 500 millimeter uh, Y6 detachable arms detachable uh, gimbal mount um, it weighs about a thousand grams. I think when I weighed it, it was about a thousand and seven. Um, it comes pretty much pre-assembled and soldered. Um, you can get this is the, the basic way it comes. Um, <coughs> this frames, ESCs, motors, all installed. Um, you can get it completely assembled. I mean, flight controller, uh, gimbal, um, IOSD, pretty much everything that you need. Um, I got it this way um, as I already had some of the stuff um, <clears throat> so um, the guys at SIS labs have done a fantastic job with this thing um, it's mainly made or set up for the DJI um, line of uh, products um, it'll take the mini IOSD um, or the mark 2 I plan on running the mark 2 uh, for the camera switcher uh, switching um, but the still run the mini IOSD and still run a separate uh, camera switcher um, tons of room at the bottom for batteries um, these three pens right here just bought just the part of my Zimus that bolts to that or goes to that um, so your Zimus um, hold on uh oh your Zimus will go right to here and when you're ready to take it off these little legs just push them in pull it back off um, so your Zimus is detachable everything's detachable um, your Zimus has you know the stock DJI dampeners as well as this whole bottom plate is vibration dampen for uh, your CC3D camera or they give you optional plates to run a GoPro Hero 1 through 3 or and um, it's pretty much basically set up to fly however you want um, they give you two uh, XT60s and parallel or you can run you could solder on your own connectors to these pads um, they give you enough extra pads if you want to run you know lights or any other accessory um, let's look at the arms the arms come set up with MS2212 980kV motors, um, very well uh, built motors, you know, Tiger motors. Um, integrated landing gear. Uh, this hump right here is a locking mechanism. Um, so this clips into the frame and it's not going anywhere. Um, so your landing gear is pretty sturdy. Um, once it's clipped in, everything's pretty sturdy. They give you 10 by 4.5 slow fly style props, um, extra zip ties, uh, Velcro, vibration di uh, dampening tape, everything you need to bolt up your stuff if you don't buy um, it built already for them. Um, here's a look at it with the lid off, um, room to mount, you know, whatever you want. Nasa 2, Nasa 1. Um, with the V2 PMU and LED, um, a Wukong, you have tons of room to mount anything out. I, I probably can put my A2 um, GPS on here. It's, they give you plenty of room. Um, what else about the frame that's awesome? Um, you get it, like I said, it's already pre assembled, so they take the time and solder on your ESC for you and everything. So it's pretty much set up for a beginner to, you know, to, I guess, professional or you know guys that you know want to go out and use this to, to make some money um, we all know that the Y6's are you know pretty great for getting your props out of your view and the redundancy if happen a, a prop will go out or a motor go out um, you still have you know a, you have a greater chance of getting it home there's tons of videos on YouTube showing that um, I just wanted to get a quick video out of this frame I plan on getting it built hopefully this weekend. Um, uh, I haven't really seen too many videos besides the awesome videos that the guys at SIS Labs. Um, I'll probably try to put some of those links in there. 
I will be starting the RC Group blog on this frame. Um, so if you guys have one and you you know have some information that you want to share, um, or if you want to know any more information about the frame, please uh, post there. I'll try to put a link in the video. Um, and just stay tuned. Please like and subscribe my videos. And I'll keep trying to put out new products. I know I haven't really been doing that great of a job, but I will try to do better. So uh, thanks, guys. Like and subscribe. One more thing I didn't really show that was really nice about this frame. Sorry. Um, these connectors are how, how it comes. It comes set up uh, with six plugs, um, you know, three for each motor. And I'm not going to flip the landing gear or lock it in, but uh, you just pretty much slide it in like that and it clips into these little white connectors. And that's how you set it, you know, that's how it's, that's how you set it up to get it flying or get ready to fly. So it's pretty simple, um, but it works. Um, they did an awesome job. I can't wait to get this thing finished. I'm not going to ramble on. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thanks. It's pretty much set up for a beginner to, you know, to, I guess professional or, you know, guys that, you know, want to go out and use this to, to make some money. Um, we all know that the Y6s are you know, pretty great for getting your props out of your view and the redundancy if happen a, a prop will go out or a motor go out um, you still have you know a, you have a greater chance of getting it home there's tons of videos on YouTube showing that um, I just wanted to get a quick video out of this frame I plan on getting it built hopefully this weekend um, I uh, haven't really seen too many videos besides the awesome videos that the guys at SIS Labs. Um, I'll probably try to put some of those links in there. I will be starting the RC Group blog on this frame. Um, so if you guys have one and you you know have some information that you want to share, um, or if you want to know any more information about the frame, please uh, post there. I'll try to put a link in the video. Um, and just stay tuned. Please like and subscribe my videos. And I'll keep trying to put out new products. I know I haven't really been doing that great of a job, but I will try to do better. So, uh, thanks guys. Like and subscribe. Um, one more thing I didn't really show that was really nice about this frame. Sorry. Um, these connectors are how, how it comes. It comes set up uh, with six plugs. Um, you know, three for each motor, and I'm not going to flip the landing gear or lock it in, but uh, you just pretty much slide it in like that, and it clips into these little white connectors, and that's how you set it. You know, that's how it's that's how you set it up to get it flying or get ready to fly. So it's pretty simple, um, but it works. Um, they did an awesome job. I can't wait to get this thing finished. I'm not going to ramble on. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.